Hello, everyone. I'm Morgan, the principal engineer of Nuvaton Technology. Today, I will show you how to use Embed OS on the Newmaker IoT N487 development board to control LED and buttons. First, open Chrome browser, enter the URL ide.embed.com. Please make sure that the Newmaker IoT N487 board already selected in the upper right corner after you log in. If not, please refer Newton IoT tutorial series. Get started with Embed OS, which has a detailed description of how to add a board. Name, click New on the upper left. A create new program window will be displayed. You can see that the platform has been set to Newmaker IoT N487. In the template field, select the Newmaker GPIO, interrupt with debounce setting for this tutorial, then click OK. Now you can see that the sample code has been loaded on the page. Click on the main.cpp. This sample code uses switch to button for demonstration. Click on compiler to build it. Is in compiling. Please wait a moment. Then you can see a lot of message at the bottom of the page. The last message is succeed. The browser will download the binary firmware file directly after a successful compiling. It will be saved in a default download folder or the folder based on your browser setting. In Chrome, you can click the download file and select Show in Folder. Then we have to connect the Newmaker IoT N487 USB port to your computer and make sure the board LED lights up. Let's head back to the download folder where you can see the binary firmware file. Drag and drop the file to new micro MCU drive. You will see the copy progress dialog box. Next step is to press the SW2 button on the board to toggle LED. You can see the reaction of each press. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Welcome to subscribe to our channel. If you want to know more information, please contact us at sales support at newverton.com.